Hi guys, this is Mark Magnifico Magsayo. You are watching Channel Manoy. Magandang araw mga pre. Mayong adlaw po sa mga bisaya diha. Marso 2018. Dumayo sa unang pagkakataon itong Pinoy boxer na si Rolando. Smooth operator magbanwa para kasahan itong undefeated na American na si Jewett Gonzalez. Non-title fight at nag-schedule lang sa 10 rounds. May kartada itong Pinoy na 26 wins, 6 losses, 18 via knockout. Habang malinis naman ang kartada nitong si Gonzalez na 18 wins, 0 loss, 10 via knockout. 24 pa si Gonzalez na tubong California, habang 33 na ang Pinoy na tubong Pigkawayan, Cotabato. Bago ang laban, ay dalawang sunod-sunod na panalo ang ginawa ng Pinoy at via knockout, habang apat na sunod-sunod na panalo naman via knockout ang ginawa ng Gonzalez. Sa gabi ng bakbakan, pinakita agad ng Pinoy na dayo ang tapang nito. Agresibo, sinusugod ang kalaban. Habang pinapakiramdaman pa ni Gonzales ang galaw at lakas nitong Pinoy. They don't have trainers, they just, you know, learn from the fact that he sparred top level fighters. He is managed by Frank Espinosa and he sparred with world champions. Feels like he holds his own. As you can see, he's, uh, he's taking his time. He's not making the same mistakes Emilio made. Emilio went, went in there looking at his, his opponent first, see what he's got. Of course, you know, he's got good Bye -bye. defense. Not sure that he didn't get clipped with an overhand right there from Mike Manua earlier. You know, he knows what Emilio Sanchez is like. Nobody has any idea of what Rolando Mike Manua is like, and we're finding out right now. The 10th round, that's why he's starting. He's very calm. Starting with his good defense. And you immediately get $5 off your $25 ticket. Only today. Olympian, Olympics. So, I mean, these guys know how to fight. They're fighters at home. There's fighters in the ring. But so is Mike Manua, who's coming in here looking to fire strong in a fight. So we can get past that area here. Well, it's, he's just trying to pick the right, the right punches. And uh, you know, slowly he's gonna start opening up because that's that's his mentality. Let go, Rolando. Let go. Let go, Rolando. Sa mga sumunod pang mga rounds. Patuloy pa rin sa pag-atake itong Pinoy pero makikitang maganda ang depensa nitong undefeated na kalaban. Halos poros sa braso at sa gloves lang tumatama ang birada ng Pinoy habang accurate naman ang patama mula kay Gonzalez. From Joet Gonzalez as he was stepping back, he brought his hands up, protected his face because you never know when the fighter is going to throw a punch. Protect yourself at all times is what the underwear. Jo you can tell that Joet is already getting his, his distance, his proper timing. He's landing the... The shots he wants to land, they're landing. Right, and then he keeps his hands in a very solid defensive position. See, and Magma is Joel Gonzalez. Joel Gonzalez is very smart. He's got the speed. He's got the speed, and he can hurt you. Nice jab wants to do here on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Glad you're with us. Joel Gonzalez taking on Filipino Rolando Magbanua. He's been stopped in his three fights outside of the Philippines. They were in Mexico and Russia. But here, Mike Manua is trying to stop Joe Gonzalez in his tracks. And he's got him pinned against the ropes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you see these young guys get flustered uh, by those roughhouse tactics. I like the way Gonzalez is getting himself out of those situations, finding his way through them, not even looking at the referee for help. He's handling things himself. Out of gyms, he loves going to other gyms and sparring, and he takes it as as a chal as a challenge, as experience going to gyms, sparring some of the best uh, full control. You know, one of those roughhouse tactics we talked about was Mike Manua coming in with the shoulder, kind of giving him that lean. But what do you do? You take a step back and you clip him with the uppercut, which is exactly what Gonzalez did here in round number three. An overhand right to the back of the ear that wobbles Mike Manua momentarily. See, Joel Gonzalez is trying to catch him with short shots inside, but he's been headlocked and put all that weight on it. Why? He hands tries free, to uh, free. frustrate stop, him. Stop, stop, stop. You know, he's a little while, and obviously that tires you out. As you know, one of my fighter notes that I have here for Joet Gonzalez, and we're seeing it so far, is that he's very adept at blocking punches. Well, if, if they start punching you on the arms, of course, then you start feeling your arms heavy. But Gonzalez does that very well because being in full control inside, he can see the openings, especially when when his opponent opens up on the side. All right. He's Flips him and then he slips, but Mike Manua does not go down as Joey Gonzalez starts to let his hands go. 
makikita talaga sa mga galawan ng undefeated na kalaban ang pagiging veterano. Nakilala na kasi itong si Gonzales na tumalo kay Tank Davis noon sa amateur. Kaya di talaga basta-basta ang tibay nito. Land those short shots, those short uh, shots that do damage to the body. As we talked about earlier, the fact that Emilio Sanchez was already beat fighter. The same pace is what they're expecting from Joe Gonzalez. So another one of these solid performances from Joe. Around four, mapapansin dahan-dahan ng naobos ang hangin sa budig ni tung Pinoy. Pero tuloy pa rin sa pagbomba, mga solidong kamao pa rin ang binibitawan. Pero di pa rin nakakalusot sa higpit ng dipinsa ni Gonzalez. Filipinos tonight against these young up-and-coming fighters, especially for, for Golden. Who made noise against the Golden Boy fighter knocking out Emilio Sanchez earlier in the week. We had another upset. Yes, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, we saw uh, Chimpa Gonzalez lose to another Filipino. And, uh, you know, they're strong. Stop, they stop, know stop, stop. and perform at their best and leave with a win. All right, here Jerry Cantu with the second warning for Dallas Watson. Now Joed can keep him away, and now Joed can keep him at distance, but at the same time, uh, Rolando keeps coming in and out, coming in and out. Now he's moving his speed more, and also by moving by moving in and out can give Joed problems because Joed wants his he wants him to step inside and work those. So it takes two steps back as Gonzalez clips him with a nice overhand right. There goes the body shot once again as Gonzalez here in round four starting to put his punches together against this tough Filipino, Rolando Maganua. Uh, will be making his debut here on Golden Boy Box. Round five, tuloy ang bakbakan. Accurate pa rin ang mga patamaan ni Gonzalez. Lalo na ang mga jobs nito, napapaatras at yumayakap na lang itong Pinoy, pero tuloy pa rin sa pagbato. The right hand, because Magdalua is already opening up, you know, by putting the jab to the body, it brings his defense down. Really sound, but I'm gonna try to crack through those flaws and make an opening for myself. He's just trying to clip him behind the ear, and both fighters connect simultaneously on the left hook, and it looked like Magdalua. Pero sa huling minuto ng round 5, di matanggap ng Pinoy ang naging desisyon ng referee. Oh, nice left hook counter there after a solid four punch combination from Magmanua. And now the combination comes from Joe Gonzalez. It's down goes Magmanua. The accumulation of punches. Uli sa kombinasyon si Magmanua kaya natumba sa unang pagkakataon sa bakbakan nila. Pero nakatayo pa ito sa bilang kaso nga lang tinigil na agad ng referee ang laban. Makikita ang nagreklamo ang Pinoy dahil kaya pa daw niya makipagsabayan sa laban nila pero wala na siyang magagawa pa sa hatol ng referee sa kanya. He did want to continue actually. I think he could have continued now that I see he the replay. Have. Yeah, he should have got another chance, you know. Just for the Natalo ang Pinoy via fifth round TKO. Napanatili naman ni Joet Gonzalez ang undefeated na kartada nito. Sa tingin mo pre, kung tinuloy ang laban, kaya pa kaya ng Pinoy ang makipagsabayan? Ang inyong komento. Suggestion at reaction ay welcome na welcome sa baba. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang ating video at pakipindot na rin ang subscribe button kung ikaw ay bago para umabot na tayo sa 200,000 dito sa munting tahanan ko. Maraming salamat sa panonood at suporta mga pre. As always, ang Pink Permi.